Hey internet, I'm Heather May. It's time for Nerdy Bits. So today I'm going to be talking about scientific discovery, specifically that of new species of animals. And that animal we're going to be discussing is the okapi, or okapi. I don't know, there's like eight different pronunciations I found. Okapis are giraffids, and they're part of the family of giraffidae. They are rudiment artiodactyls. Rudiment meaning they have chambered stomachs like a cow, and artiodactyl meaning they have hooves. Currently, the only other organism part of the giraffidae family that is living is the animal that the family is named after, giraffes. Okapis stand at about five to six and a half feet at the shoulder, and I honestly didn't think of them as being that tall in my head. I'm not sure why. Their front legs are longer than their back legs, similar to giraffes, and their neck is also longer than most other organisms, though obviously not as long as a giraffe's neck. Okapis live in the Congo, and one of the adaptations of living there is they have a very oily coat so that they're able to keep all the water from all the rain that the Congo receives uh, off their skin. Now the okapi wasn't officially discovered until the year of 1901 whenever remains were sent to Europe for study. Before that, it was considered to be a crazy folktale that natives told adventurers to either scare them or entertain them. This creature is very solitary. It's probably one of the biggest reasons as to why it wasn't discovered until the 1900s. Its natural predators consist of the leopard, the serval, as well as us, and its gestation period is about 16 months. All of those reasons are probably why, as of 2013, the okapi ended up on the endangered species list, with only 10,000 individuals left in the wild. One of the neat things about this animal is that it's able to consume poisonous vegetation that most other organisms can't, and it gets its minerals and salt content from eating red clay. Genetically speaking, okapis are really interesting because instead of having 36 chromosomes like most other organisms on this planet, it's more common for individuals to have 35 chromosomes or even 34. This little oddity has been linked to Robertsian fusion. Robertsian fusion can cause things like Down syndrome, but it doesn't seem to afflict okapis in any way. The last little piece of information I want to leave you with is the fact that the okapi is actually the insignia of the Congo Conservation Institute, and can also be found on banknotes. Hope you learned something new on this little nerdy bit. Check me out next week for more. I'm Heather May, and don't stop absorbing information.